Hey everyone, welcome back to Sudotech. Today we're going to be quickly testing if your wireless card is capable of one, monitor mode, and two, injection. Now these two things are pretty important if you're trying to do any kind of wireless hacking, and this is a good place to start if you're interested in learning to use the Aircrack MG Suite or Wireshark or other things like that. Now I found that the easiest way to check if your wireless card is capable of monitor mode is to just try to put it into monitor mode. Now the simplest way to do that is using airmon-mg. This is part of the Aircrack MG suite, so you can download that from their website which is aircrack-mg.org or just install it with your favorite package manner like app-git or yum or something like that. They're usually available in most repositories, so figure out how to get it and I'll meet you right after that. Now the first step to doing this is to check what actual wireless cards you have. So we're going to do iwconfig, and that's going to list all of our interfaces. Now as you can see, first I have this Ethernet adapter, I have the, I think that's actually WiMAX, loopback of course, and then I actually have two wireless interfaces on this computer, because why not? By the way, this is my laptop, so sorry about the weird aspect ratio, but this is where I'm doing it right now. If you check on the second line of the different wireless interfaces, you'll see that it has a mode and it shows managed right now. We're going to change that to monitor so that it can monitor all of the packets that are coming towards us. First, we're going to need to shut down any of the processes that might prevent this from happening. So use airmon-mg check and that'll just list, oops, we have to be root, so do sudo airmon-mg check. And that'll list all the different processes that might cause it to stop working after a little bit. You don't always have to shut these down, but it's usually a good idea. Now you can run kill and then just follow it by the PID, which is listed here. I prefer to do airmon ng check and then followed by kill. And that'll attempt to do them. Of course, we have to do root again. I'm just going to go into sudo mode permanently so that I, that's just simpler to do. So airmon ng check kill. That'll try to kill them. Um, look like it got a couple of them. A couple of these will respawn each other. So you might have to do it a couple of times. Um, let's just check again. Okay. So now we do a check. Once you get a check with nothing listed, it just turns out blank. You should be good to go, and we can move on to the next step. So if we remember iwconfig, which I'm just going to run again so we can see, we're going to have to choose which of the interfaces we need to use for the monitor mode. I'm just going to go with WLP12S0. Um, it's usually an easier, it would be an easier choice, of course, if you only have one interface, but I have two, so I'm just going to go with the first one. It's pretty simple to do this, just do airmon ng start, and then the name of the interface, which could have this long string of characters like mine does, um, or it might be simpler, just like wlan0 or wlan1. There we go. Now, it should be in modern mode, and if we do iwconfig again, you'll see that we have... It, the top listing is for the 12, and it has mod after it, which means that it's monitor mode. And as you can see, of course, the mode is set to monitor. Show you one more thing about this command. Sometimes you might want to bind the wireless card to a certain frequency, in which case you can follow it by the frequency. So if you want to do channel 6, then you could just do it like that. And then if we do iwconfig again, um, it'll show up as the frequency as 2.457, which happens to be the same as what it had before, but it'll just bind it to a certain frequency that corresponds to the channel. So now that it's in monitor mode, we know that it can go into monitor mode, and our next step is going to check whether it can do injection and whether it can access the access points in your area. The reason we're going to do that is that some cards can go into monitor mode but won't necessarily function correctly in monitor mode, so this will just clear that up. First we're going to do airplay-ng, and airplay has a couple of options we can read just by doing no arguments. We're going to be doing dash 9, which checks the injection, and then of course we're going to follow it by the interface. So I'm going to pull up the interfaces again since I forget which one it was. There we go. We can do airplay-ng-9. I can type, and followed by WLP. 12s0 mon or whichever interface you have set to monitor mode. Do that, it'll start programming for the different APs in your area or access points. As you can see, it found three APs. Um, the first one was a CenturyLink, then we have Heinz, we have some Home. These are just my neighbor's network, so it doesn't really matter. You're just pinging them, and as you can see, um, 
The last two ones didn't get all of them, but the first one has a good signal strength, 30 out of 30, so it got all of the packages from the ping. And between the second, first one and the second one, it, you can see it tested that injection is working. Sometimes that'll happen first before any of it, before it pings any of the APs, but this time it happened right then. Um, and as you can see, injection is working and the monitor mode is working. So that's about it for this video. If you like this video, then let me know down in the comments. In the future, I'll do more kind of um, Wi-Fi tutorials like this. Um, but that's about it. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.